Good morning, this is Pastor Belinda. How are you having a good day today? Um, it's beautiful here in Branson. This weekend there were so many people here. Um, you couldn't get into the restaurant anywhere. We were all standing in line trying to get into the restaurant. One had a two and a half hour wait. But it is good to see that the city is healthy and that businesses here can function and get back to normal. Um, we're still doing the face mask thing and social distancing as well. But uh, as you start going out, I want you to know that the Lord has not given you that spirit of fear. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First uh, John 4, 4 says, states that. Greater is he that is in, in me than he that is in the world. And the Lord will protect you. He will give you guidance. He will give you wisdom about how to do things. Um, just don't be free. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Um, I've had my first COVID shot. I've had my second COVID shot, and my head my head has not fallen off. Um, it's something that we needed to travel in and out of the country, so we've both we both are getting our COVID shot. Me and my husband, pastors at Glory Barn. And um, I just want to encourage you, don't be afraid of things. God has not given you that spirit of fear. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. You don't have to be beat down and afraid that you're going to get COVID. Um, if you do, we'll pray for healing over you. It is, uh, God wants you to enjoy life. He wants you to be an overcomer. He wants you to show him to other people. And if all the Christians hunker in their bunker, there won't be anybody to pray for people. There won't be anybody to bring freedom. There won't be anybody to pray deliverance. So, um, I'm waiting for the boat to pass. I just want to encourage y'all. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God's got this. This is God's timing. He's not missed a lick. God's never been out of it. God's perfect will. God has never missed it. Not since the beginning of time has he ever missed it. And he is not a liar. And so when he tells you that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, you can take it to the bank. Well, I love you. Let me pray over y'all this morning for your week. God, I ask, Lord, that you bless those watching with a fruitful week. Let them not be in a spirit of fear, but let them have comfort. God, and peace in their minds and their hearts. Let healing come to their bodies. Um, I speak against arthritis right now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing unto your joints. I speak healing unto your, your head and your mind. Father God, those that have experienced fear because of this, this COVID, Father, I ask, Lord, that you just come upon them right now and give them peace in their heart. Peace in your heart. I speak it over you in the name of Jesus. Greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world. It may not be obvious when somebody looks at you that you've got Jesus in your heart. But he is there and he is protecting you. He will watch over you. He will guide your steps. And uh, just go out. Go for it this week. Be a light to the world. Um, we had an aglow meeting this Saturday. And, and we were blessed to get to do the worship at it here in Branson. And you know they talked about lighthouses. And I want to share that with you too. Be a lighthouse. Be a shining um, light in the darkness around the people that are around you. You can do this. You got it. Um, you're the number one expert on your testimony. Let it out. Let it out. And God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.